What's going on, YouTube Frosty? I hope you guys are doing well. As we get acquainted with all the new features and content that Season 3 of Modern Warfare 2 has to offer, I ask that we stay diligent with our criticisms of both Infinity Ward, Activision, and Modern Warfare 2 as a whole. Now, obviously, we can get excited maybe even a little bit about all the content that Season 3 has, but at the same time, we still need to be critical of what we have here in Modern Warfare 2. Sure, it's great that we finally have enough content here to warrant a $70 game, but it came five months after the game launched. That's just unacceptable. Yet, some of us still will turn a blind eye and will blindly buy some Black Cell DLC for no reason to reward Call of Duty for meeting the bare minimum standards that they should have hit five months ago. This new content that we have in Season 3 is a great step forward, but at the same time, we have to remember that for the last five months, we've been playing an incomplete game. We've been playing a beta version of Call of Duty. This has never been a complete experience until now. And even now, it barely meets the standards of what older Call of Duties had. There's still no emblem editor. There's still no theater mode. Hell, even just custom matches are still clunky as they could ever be. The optimization that Modern Warfare 2 has is still bottom of the barrel and substandard for what Call of Duty has released even 10 years ago. So when we want to praise Modern Warfare 2 for its great launch of Season 3, I ask that we don't give it infinite praise. Instead, we use this as an opportunity to say, whoa, we're not going to be tricked by content that we should have had five months ago. There is no way that you can convince me that Gunfight wasn't ready five months ago. There's no way you can convince me that these maps weren't ready five months ago. They were going to release us a bare bones version of season three until the community started to push back. So we need to continue to push back because this game has finally gotten to a healthy ish state at launch. Never mind five months down the road of a live service game. So maybe season four will continue to push the envelope, but it won't if we don't continue to be critical of Modern Warfare 2. So if I'm going to be critical of Modern Warfare 2, if I'm going to continue to try to strive for change, I'm going to talk about some major issues that are still plaguing Modern Warfare 2, even here five months post-launch. Now, these are points that I've talked about now for the last six months since the beta came out, but they're worth reiterating again for probably the 20th or 30th time in the last six months because Infinity Ward and Activision still have done nothing about it. And the first point, of course, is the UI, the user interface. Something that I have talked about almost every single video since Modern Warfare 2 has come out. And still nothing has changed. And the quality of life is the same. And unfortunately, the quality of life with this type of UI is extremely poor. If you go back and play older Call of Duty games, the menu systems, the UI in those games is far superior to what we have here in Modern Warfare 2. And I, I can't understand it for the life of me how a game, even released 10 years ago, has a far superior UI to what we have here in 2023. Games should be getting better, not getting worse. I said it from the beta, that it feels like when I'm scrolling through the menus, I'm on some weird social media feed, or I'm on my Xbox homepage, more than I am navigating a menu system for a video game. It's a clunky menu system that just has too much going on and not doing anything about it and frankly it needs to be the number one focus moving forward i wanted it changed for season three it doesn't look like we're going to get that so hopefully in season four they make that change because right now the ui is at a point where it's substandard for a fps game never mind an fps game of a multi-billion dollar corporation this is not okay this is not a good enough UI. Trying to navigate creating a class is a nightmare. Trying to navigate your barracks is a nightmare. Trying to just invite people to a game is a nightmare. Five months into your game and you've done nothing to try to streamline these processes. Make them better. Make them more user friendly. If you fix the UI and you make it better, do you know what happens? The quality of life of your game goes up, which means the population of your game goes up, which again means revenue goes up. The more people that play your game and the more people that find it easy to play your game will play it, which means you will make more money. And I don't know why this is so hard for Activision and Infinity War to understand. 
Put in some effort and some investment now, and you'll get twice the returns later on. The next big change that obviously needs to be made is the perks. And I've talked about the perks for as long as I can remember from Modern Warfare 2. They changed up the perk system in Modern Warfare 2 to be these time release perks. And they've changed the timing of when perks get activated. But at the end of the day, to me, the whole perk system is a dud. It is a failed project. And it should just be scrapped in favor for the three-tier perk system. And I don't care how you arrange the perks. I'm sure you can figure out a nice balanced way to do it. I've talked about it in past videos. But at the end of the day, it needs to get done. As simple as that. It just needs to get done. There is no discernible reason why the perk system has yet to be changed in Modern Warfare 2. The fact that Dead Silence still isn't a perk is kind of a joke in Modern Warfare 2. It should have been handled months ago and still hasn't been dealt with and it worries me for games down the road that they will also have dead silence as a tactical upgrade instead of standard in your perk tiers list which it's been there for years but for some reason they wanted to take it out now the next two are going to be more personal complaints more more though more so than community complaints these are two things that i would love to see changed because to me, it just feels like they're making the process in and of itself way too convoluted. And that is weapon attachments and weapon unlocking. The weapon unlocking system in this game is a good idea on paper, but unfortunately, in practice, it doesn't work. And it makes players not want to play the game and not want to try to get new weapons because all you're doing is having to grind with a weapon you don't necessarily like. If you could have unique challenges that you could use to unlock certain weapons or unique challenges that you could earn to unlock certain weapons, I think that would be a much more enjoyable experience instead of having to use weapons you're either not enjoying using or that you just don't have yet to unlock other weapons just seems like a really negative process for your player base to go through. And I still have a lot of weapons I've never unlocked in Modern Warfare 2 because I won't go through the pains of grinding to get them. Now, if there were unique challenges that were rewarding, I would probably do them to unlock the guns. But unfortunately, that's just not the case. And secondly, the fact that M13 is still not unlockable through regular multiplayer is kind of a joke unless I buy some sort of bundle but i'm not doing that i should be able to unlock it just on the merits of playing the game without having to do this specific challenge on the specific map playing this specific mode of warzone like i'm not doing that i'm sorry make it some sort of really fun or difficult achievement in multiplayer to do and guess what i will grind to do it because i want to use the m13 to me it's still a joke that that gun is under some sort of unlockable wall from Warzone. It's just not serving your player base well at all. And now moving into attachments. To me, it still makes no sense that there is 92 different barrels and 12 different stocks and 83 different sites, and I'm exaggerating, but it makes no sense that you have so many different ones, and each one creates differences in your stats. I don't like that. There should be one barrel. There should be one foregrip. There should be one stock. There should be like five different sites and that should be it the game needs to be simplified it doesn't need to be over complicated and yeah weapon tuning does allow some differences but in reality having pros and cons to your attachments just makes it really lame attachments should just increase your gun's ability to do certain things instead of decreasing its ability to do certain things that's the way older call of duty games did it and it worked in those games we don't need to try to reinvent the wheel here it just needs to work the way it intended to work years ago. That's how you bring Call of Duty back. I don't need to go through some sort of dissertation to figure out what attachments work best on which gun tuned to a certain way. It's convoluted, overcomplicated, and it creates a barrier to entry for your player base. It just needs to be taken away. Straight up. One other thing, of course, that uh, has not been addressed since launch, of course, is the UAV and the regular minimap. The fact that red dots still don't show up is kind of a joke in this game, if I'm going to be honest. And the fact that silencer still doesn't sil or keep you hidden from the UAV uh, is kind of a joke. These are just changes that are very simple to the quality of life of the game, would make games 
play a lot better, would make the maps play a lot better, and would actually create map flow because you could direct yourself in ways to where the action is versus trying to guess where people are going to be because people have no incentive to move around because they can just hide in corners and not be ever seen because they have ghost on and they're not worried about it. So it's a frustrating mechanic that this game just needs to get rid of and I don't know why it's still here months into the game. It just makes no sense. And the last point I'm going to make, I know I've gone a little long here, but thank you very much to, for watching up to this point. Player visibility, enemy visibility needs to change moving forward. It's not good enough right now. It needs to get better. And until it gets better, this game is going to continue to fall short of expectations for me. Because I've played other Call of Duty games. And frankly, this is probably one of the lowest visibility games I've ever seen in my entire career of playing Call of Duty. The amount of times that I, I get killed from somebody I can't even see because my red diamond showed up for them, but their red diamond didn't show up for me when in reality it should just be red names and for some reason we needed to change it is beyond me. With all of this being said, the point here is not to just shit on the game and call it terrible. It is to bring up critical points that need to be fixed and changed so the game can be healthy moving forward. It's not just about trying to make changes for Modern Warfare 2 right now, but it's also about changing the philosophy the developers have at Call of Duty so they don't make these mistakes in future Call of Duty games. We need to be diligent now so that the future of Call of Duty can be better because right now, the way I look at the future of Call of Duty, I'm extremely worried. I've talked about it in previous videos. I'm going to reiterate it here. If Call of Duty cont continues down this path of putting profit over the player base, they will continue to dwindle in player counts. They will continue to spiral downward because they need to start putting their game first. And guess what? The community will start to reward them. But that's it for today's video. I'd love to hear from you guys down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think Modern Warfare 2 and Infinity Ward should be focusing on moving forward here as we move towards season four of modern warfare 2 anyways thank you guys very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more videos from me please hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time bye